Basic Refrigeration Cycle, Vapor Compression System. Refrigerants are used in a refrigeration cycle to provide cooling. Refrigerants in liquid state evaporate by absorbing heat from the atmosphere. thus cooling the surroundings. The boiling point temperature of the refrigerant, that is the temperature at which the refrigerant vaporizes, depends on the pressure. Lower the pressure, lower the temperature. Higher the pressure, higher the temperature. The above figure shows the primary components of a basic refrigeration cycle. Evaporator. The evaporator performs the cooling process. The refrigerant flows through coils in the evaporator and vaporizes at desired temperature by maintaining corresponding pressure in the evaporator by taking heat energy from the atmosphere, thus cooling the surroundings. Fans are used to circulate the cooled air. In secondary refrigeration systems, chillers are used that circulate cooled water or brine. In an air conditioner providing cooling, the evaporator is located inside the room. Surrounding air that is cooled by vaporization of refrigerant in the coil is blown into the room. Refrigerant flow path across the evaporator coil as shown. In a refrigerator, the evaporator coil winds alongside the inner storage locations. Refrigerant vaporizes by absorbing heat from the storage locations, thus cooling the same. To reuse the refrigerant, it has to be condensed to liquid state. For this, the condensing, that is boiling point temperature, has to be increased so that it can be cooled and condensed by a medium like water or air, available at atmospheric temperature. Hence the vapor is compressed in a compressor to increase the pressure and the corresponding condensing, that is boiling point temperature. Compressor. The compressor pressurizes and hence increases the condensing, that is boiling point temperature of the refrigerant vapor. Assuming a cooling medium like water or air available at 77 degree Fahrenheit or 25 degree Celsius. The vapor has to be pressurized such that the corresponding condensing, that is boiling point temperature, is around 95 degree Fahrenheit or 35 degree Celsius. The flow path across the compressor, in the air conditioner and refrigerator, is depicted. Suspended oil particles are removed from the refrigerant in the oil separator condenser refrigerant vapor is cooled and condensed in the condenser by a cooling medium like water or air in air cooled condensers the refrigerant is cooled by forced convection using fans or by natural convection in water cooled condensers water is circulated outside the tubes to cool the vapor the flow path across the condenser in the air conditioner using force convection. And refrigerator using natural convection is depicted. Liquid refrigerant may be collected in a receiver and then flows to the evaporator or it directly flows to the evaporator. Throttle valve. The refrigerant liquid from the condenser is at high pressure. Before entering the evaporator, the pressure has to be reduced so that the liquid refrigerant can evaporate at the desired lower boiling point temperature. A throttle valve is used to drop the pressure of the liquid refrigerant as it enters the evaporator. 
A throttling device can be a simple capillary tube across which the pressure drops, as shown in the refrigerator. Or a throttle valve, as shown in the air conditioner. Thus the refrigeration cycle achieves the cooling process. The description was a simplified extract from the refrigeration and air conditioning training course from Yesyan Graphitech. The course covers the principles, the process and the components in explicit detail with graphics, animation and interactivity. For more details visit yesyen.com.